All right, let's take a look at a quick example of a percent markup. There's some vocab in this video we need to make sure we understand and so we know what it's actually asking us to find. So we've got Sophie. Sophie bought an item for $80. The wholesale cost was $64. What was the percent markup? All right, so first, the percent markup. What is a percent markup? That is the exact same thing as a percent change. So you guys just saw a couple videos on how to find the percent change. Um, we know that something is changing by a certain amount, but what percent is it changing by? So um, percent markup is the same thing as percent change. We're gonna follow the same little formula to find it. And when it says mark up, that just means that it was it started at a lower cost and was marked up. The price was increased, um, and what was the percent that that was marked up? So, percent change is the difference between the two prices divided by the original cost. So, I'm not sure if you guys are super familiar with wholesale cost. A whole... Why won't that stay? There we go, a wholesale cost is the original amount, the original cost. All right, so we're gonna find the percent markup. So again, same thing as percent change. So we will subtract our numbers, just, you know, bigger number minus the smaller number. So 80 minus 64, but then we're gonna divide by the starting amount or the original amount. That is your wholesale cost. So we're gonna divide by 64. So we've got 80 minus 64 in our numerator. That's gonna give us 16 over 64. And then we take 16 and we divide it by 64 and we get 0 0.25. Now what we wanna remember is our answer should be a percent. We just got the decimal value of the percent. So we will go ahead and move that decimal two spots to the right, turn it into a percent, and so the percent markup is 25%. We don't have to say increase or decrease because percent markup, that is telling us that it was a percent increase. We just had to figure out what the percent was. So the percent markup is 25%.